Following a night's stay at Gales Hotel in Irvine, we made a short journey to the Ayrshire seaside town of Largs, where our adventure was about to begin. Thank you. I've done a lot of filming across Scotland in the last couple of years but this is the first time we're sat on a boat about to leave the mainland and welcome to what's going to be four episodes of Ferry Golf. Yeah we have set sail on a real adventure, I've wanted to do this for quite some time. The next four Sundays you'll see an episode every week of me on a ferry on an island playing some golf and it's a, it's a real adventure and it adds to the excitement. This is not about just playing golf, it's about this whole journey and the first island we go to is Cumbrae and the golf course we're about to visit is Millport. And I can't wait to get there to be honest with you. Right, so we have arrived at Millport Golf Club, which is um, it's probably two or three mile away from the port itself. It'll take long to get here. It's um, a bit more in terms of the housing and where we drove through uh, than I expected, to be honest with you. Um, but it's absolutely deathly silent here this morning. So, so quiet, almost surreal. Let's get to the first TA. So quiet. The Isle of Cumbrae only has 1,300 residents, but this is Scotland and a golf course is part of the island's fabric. And it's a golf course that's supported by residents, holiday makers and day trippers alike. And from what I can see, a warm welcome awaits. Right, so alongside me is Alex Hegarty, who is current captain at Millport Golf Club. And Alex, I'm about to tee it up on the first. Yep. The question is, what, what am I gonna find out there? What can I expect? Uh, lots of ferns, lots of gorse. Keep yeah. it down the middle. And once you get up to the fifth and play from there on, you'll see the most spectacular views you'll see in the rest of Scotland. I like the idea of the views, they're keeping it down the middle, that's the, uh, that's I'm the worried about that. That's the hunt <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We'll see how we get on. Thanks. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Cheers, Thanks Alex. for coming. moving ball keep moving and bounce and bounce they're so firm that's not bad you know this uh, plays what is it 197 I think it's a par 3 it's got to be uh, all uphill the thing after four holes is just the absolute serenity of this place I said on the way in it was quiet it is so calming I've it uh, probably I think the four greens in reg so far you find yourself swinging about 75 percent uh, of what you normally would everything just drops down a little bit because you so feel very much uh slow down it's great so as you climb up uh the views just get better and better and as you can see now so the clubhouse oh, i don't know where it is it's down there somewhere tucked away to the left i think but oh my word how good is that and it's still deathly silent i can imagine obviously the wind does blow on Cumbrae, it does a bit in Scotland, so I'd imagine there's days when you're absolutely blowing off your feet up here because we're relatively high right now. But even on them days, I think you can have a bit of a glance around. Yeah, I love courses where I say it time and time again, where even if your golf is absolute garbage, you can have a little bit of a look around and uh, think, thank God I'm on this golf course. I'm not stuck in uh, work or an office or something else. Look at that. Scotland is very, very pretty, isn't it? Right, wedge up the hill. Send it. So 
So we're approaching halfway and uh, this is just ideal holiday golf. I've got, you'll notice I've got no driver in the bag today. You might need it when the breeze blows, but other than that, no, it's kind of, you can certainly go around with half a carry bag. A Sunday bag, you'll see some great stands that I love where you can just prop your Sunday bag up on, which I've not seen too often around the place. The views, like I said, are absolutely spectacular. I just, our ferry um, from Largs, it's just a 10 minute uh, trip over. And then, like I said, a uh, five, 10 minute drive, then into Millport. It's 24 quid to play here today. And I just think it's a fantastic little break from everything is with Ayrshire. There's so many good golf courses, everybody knows about them. But for the sake of a 10 minute ferry journey and getting onto the island, it adds to that little bit of an excitement. And like I said, it becomes a day trip. It's not just about the golf, it's about that kind of experience. It really is nice. I've just been and got the scorecard on 10 because I would assume this was stroke index one. It's certainly the most difficult hole we've played so far, which is teeing back on the horizon. Uh, plenty of room off the tee box, but then it's a second shot in, which I only had a nine, um, nine iron in hand, but I managed to pull it into this side. It's very much into a narrow gap and either leak one right or what I did, pull one left, lost ball into this long stuff. Uh, I thought it was a fairly tough hole, but maybe you've only got a short iron in hand. And on my uh, second ball, it's just behind the camera woman who's making her way backwards but yeah great golf hole and tough toughest we've played so far but stroke index one is yet to come we'll have to get in the old might do nearly made a bit of a save in there but like i said pulled one into the long stuff over there and as i said earlier don't win jan just have a little bit of a nose round and the sun has come up now the views are even more spectacular i'll give myself that one Like I said about stroke index one was yet to come, it's a 13th hole and I can see why it's tough. It's 440 off the yellows. We've got a decent ball up the left side of the fairway and the camber is huge. Depending on which way you're playing, obviously, either up or down, the cambers are quite severe and you've got to be on the right side of the fairway. Uh, but still left 183 in and I've just flew the drone from here in, which you're looking at now. Uh, I can only see the tip of the flag and it looks to be the most narrowest of greens to try and get to. A really tough golf hole. I'm playing the, the the fairways have been really firm and fiery. Uh, I'm going to play a six iron, which is uh, definitely uh, not I would be not what I would play for 183. Uh, but hoping this sort of bounces in a little bit. Well, that's a decent ball. <laughs> There's that firm bounce, it's almost like it's landed on a tennis court. That's just bounded up in the air. From what I can 
memorise from the uh, from the drone shot. I think that might have missed the green just on the left hand side based on it being so narrow and a really good strike to be fair but by far the toughest hole we've played this morning. Right, my round has come to an end and uh, been a really enjoyable morning. We had a bit of sunshine that came in for a little bit. Last hole is 299 off the yellows which is where I've played from and out of interest the course plays just 5,400 yards uh, as a visitor off the yellow tee blocks and for me you know the 5,300 yards sort of explains what this is all about, it's having a bit of fun. It's a fairly relaxed, easy going course. It's very much a holiday course. You come here, you make it all about a day out, you get that ferry over, which is all part of the experience. Something to eat in this clubhouse afterwards, which is seems very, very friendly indeed. And now it's time to get a ferry back onto that mainland. See where we're going next. Right, that is us back on the ferry to the mainland uh, into Largs and then we're about to catch another ferry in a couple of hours time onto another island and that'll be next week's episode. So don't forget, next Sunday, 6.30, I'll see you all then for episode two of Ferry Golf. Comments down below, hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed already, then uh, I'd appreciate it if you would do so. I'll see you all soon.